So this question 1982, um, AP physics B, a child of mass M holding onto a rope and steps off the platform. Assuming that the initial speed of the child is zero, the rope has the length of R and neglectable mass. The initial angle of the rope with the vertical is theta, as shown in the that in the drawing above. Using the principle of conservation of energy, develop an expression for the speed of the child at the lowest point of the swing in terms of g, r, and the cosine or theta, right? So let's look at this um, triangle right here. So this is r cosine theta. And this is r sine theta for that triangle. Um, this whole length is r. Then this part is r minus r cosine theta. So I'm going to call this part h. This part is h and equals to r minus r cosine and I can take r out and that will be 1 minus cosine theta so the child has um, for a part the child has some potential energy here and the potential energy final is equal to 0 the child has no kinetic energy initial because initial velocity is equal to zero. And the child will have the so change of the potential energy, wherever energy is lost, will go to the change of the kinetic energy. So wherever potential energy is lost, it's going to go into the kinetic energy all the way at the bottom. So we're looking all the way at the bottom. And potential energy on the top is M, G, and H. And H is equal to 1 minus um, R times 1 minus cosine theta. So the energy that is going to be lost, so potential energy, change of the potential energy is equal to m g h is r 1 minus cosine theta and that went into the kinetic energy or the change of the kinetic energy so this one lost this much energy this one gained this much energy and equals to m g r 1 minus cosine theta and because kinetic energy, they ask, they ask you to find the expression of the speed. So I need to find the expression of the speed. Um, so the um, kinetic energy is equal to 1 half mv squared. And this is the bottom, right? This is at the bottom of the swing. And equals to m g r 1 minus cosine theta. So it looks like m and m can be cancelled, and I can times both sides by 2. So the velocity is equal to the square root of 2 r g 1 minus cosine theta. So this is my velocity at the bottom. So this was my A solution. So all the way at the bottom, these are the forces that will be acting. So for, this is for B part. So our B is going to be in, oops, our B is going to be in orange. Um, so the force is acting on the object at the bottom, force of gravity, or at the child, and the tension force. So for a free body diagram, you would have only two forces, mg and the tension force. Um, but this is not the force, 
but there is centripetal acceleration because it is a circular motion. Um, so the tension at the bottom minus mg together the net force is equal to mac ac and that is equal to mass v squared over r and r is given right so the tension at the bottom is 1.5 times the weight of the child so here i have 1. 1.5 times 1.5 so the tension is 1.5 mg minus mg is equal to m v squared over r all of them there's one term two terms three terms they will have m so i can cancel m from every single one of them and i have uh, one and a half g minus g gives me pi 0.5 g g is equal to uh, the velocity that I just found was I'm gonna plug it in as I found it and then I'm gonna square it two uh, g r one minus cosine theta. And then that whole thing is squared and divided by r. If I square the whole thing, I have um, 1 half g, 0.5 g, is equal to 2 r g, 1 minus cosine theta, because the square gets rid of the square root, and divided by r. r can be cancelled, g can be cancelled. Um, so if we divide both sides by 2, we have 1 quarter is equal to 1 minus cosine theta. That means cosine theta is equal to 3 quarters. And I think that's all they have to find, right? determine the value of the cosine theta. So the value of the cosine theta is equal to 3 quarters. And then you could use a calculator to calculate the actual angle, but they don't ask you to find that. So that would be it for this question. That was in 1982, AP Physics B.